Look, he's just not really quickening in his races, and, and that's what brought him undone, I think, last time with the big weight. I think a bit less depth here, um, with a kilo less. I'm giving him another go, and I think it's D-Day for him. A few of those have passed the test earlier today at Dragonstone. Hopefully he can do the same. Torrens, given a great ride, but did beat Skylab home last time and was a month between runs. Serpentine was set a fair task in a Melbourne Cup, given the, the nature of that race. It was a real swoopers uh, race this year. Back a few notches. Dark Dream in the game next best they'll go forward i think one four two seven top pick skylab is the top pick on the tab fix four to four eighty back to four sixty and serpentine best back to beat it six fifty into four dollars and eighty cents scratch caulfield to run here instead little mix is six six fifty back to six and the stable mate to serpentine i'm a dirty rascal to be partnered by tim clark's second run back from a break gator is eleven dollars into seven fifty and popular Mm, that's a good go, isn't it? And uh, looks obviously stable. They've been flying for a long time. And his first up run was quite good. Newcastle benchmark 88. He found the line well. Uh, stepping up in trip, added fitness. Uh, clearly the big ticks here. And then a little nibble for Torrens. $10 into $9 as the other one in single figures. Riding there with Skylab with the bookmakers. Skylab went up at $4.40. It's out to $4.80. No longer favourite. New favourite is Serpentine. Number two, five fifty into $4.60. And it's the new favourite with the tab fix as well. Little Mix is the $6 third pick. I'm a dirty rascal firming everywhere. $10 into seven fifty with the bagman. Torrens is 10 into 9 Cucaracha 13 into to 11 just back to 12 so they're backing both waterhouse runners serpentine is the new favorite gator yeah well i'm happy to overlook that melbourne cup run and um, yeah it was just uh, running along at a solid speed in, in a race where the first six home in that race were 14th or beyond at the midway point so it was a dynamite swoopers race his previous form was good he ran well in a bad cummings behind future history and those sort of horses and, and that says he can win this and i'm a dirty rascal is an import hasn't won here in australia the last win back in ireland 881 days ago yeah, that was a maiden. Of course, only won the one race. But um, look, he, there were real positive signs, weren't there, first up. I don't think 1850 is ever going to be his go, but he found the line well. He had excuses when he was second up last time in an Anset uh, Classic, the listed race at Mornington behind Saracen Knight, who was flying at the time. And then he was two lengths off Luna Flair. Now, I'd have to think Luna Flair would be favourite in this race. Further backing for Torrens late with the bookmakers, now 10 into 8.50. Torrens is in your mix, was off a fresh and back in trip last time out and ran a good race. Yeah, he was a month off there, wasn't he? And uh, he was given an absolute uh, peach of a ride, but what he did do was beat home uh, our top pick in Skylab, and they meet on similar weight terms. So, look, if Skylab has a case, he must have one. And Cookerach has just been specced at longer odds, and he's been going around in your neck of the woods of late. Yeah, look, he was fair in the Queen Elizabeth, but it was a super fast race this year. And um, that form was tested earlier today at Caulfield. Mirror Master, I'm not sure we, did, we got it much of a guide. I just don't think he's a wet tracker, that horse. And Duke de Cesar is a wet tracker, ran well in it. Torrens is a defending champ in this. Beat Bonnie Ezra and Regal Lyon to win it last year. Mighty Bill won it the year before. Significance in 2020. Other winners include Destiny's Kiss and the Group 1 winner, Sir John Hawkwood. For the Christmas Cup, as race nine at listed grade for 200,000, here's Darren. The Fearson surviving a protest. So up they come now for the running of the Christmas Cup. Moving in. Skylab goes forward, ran third in the Beaufort at Newcastle on Hunter Day into the weight carrier of the field. Serpentine moving in now. I'm a dirty rascal's been well found here, drawn towards the outside for Tim Clark. Not exposed for him so far to be back in the field. Uh, there's been no rain at all today, nothing. And as a result, Stockman is friendless now. It's getting right out in the market. I think they're keeping him safe this morning in case there was rain. Little Mix goes up, Andalus. The plan's to race on speed with Andalus. It's moving in. And the last to go up, I'm a dirty rascal. Drawn the outside barrier. So we're just about right for the Christmas Cup. There's the light. Stand by for action. Racing now. Nice level start out. Parry Soundberry went out OK with Cucaracha. Dark Dreams pushing forward and has the head in front early. Serpentine rolls up on the outside. Andalus takes cover. Then Torrens. 
followed then by Sky Lab. Little Mix has gone right down to the rails from uh, I'm a Dirty Rascal on the outside of Stockman. So Dark Dream just in front, but Serpentine under his own steam, cruises up on the outside, and Hippo intends on leading by the looks of it. And Torrance has been able to slip into a great spot third. Clear from Parry Sound, then Cookaracha, Dream Flight, the rails, Andalus the other. Further back to Little Mix from Sky Lab, Stockman, and I'm a Dirty Rascal is the last one. So Serpentine got his own way at the end, and he's a leader now at the mile mark. He's the post-time favourite, Serpentine, and he races two lengths clear. He's first up since he's run in the Melbourne Cup. Dark Dream second, Torrance drives to a clear third. A gap then to Parry Sound as the field starts to string out a little. Cookaracha is off the fence around Dream Flight. Further back to Andalus from Little Mix Sky Lab Stockman, and I'm a Dirty Rascal has been well specced in the market, is a stablemate to the front runner, and is back last of all as they work down the back of the course. So Serpentine keeps up a good gallop. Inside the halfway, Serpentine two in front to Dark Dream. A gap back to Torrance and a clear third, followed by Parry Sound, then Cookaracha, Dream Flight, further back to Andalus. Little Mix Sky Lab and the last two Stockman, who's locked up on the fence by I'm a Dirty Rascal. School. They leave the back now. About 12 lengths covers the field. Serpentine in front from the roughy Dark Dream. Torrance still a clear third. A gap back to Parry Sound from Cookaracha punching the breeze the outside. Further back to Dream Flight from Andalus. Now Little Mix. Uh, Skylab really being wound up by Collard. Uh, Clark pulling wide on I'm a Dirty Rascal. Three wide. And Stockman will stay nailed to the fence. Coming to the turn at Serpentine. Placed under pressure now. Leads around the corner from Dark Dream and Torrance moving up on the outside. Several lengths away to Parry Sound. Dream Flight, the rails from Cucaracha. Then came Andalus. Uh, well back is Sky Lab and I, my Dirty Rascal down the outside. Serpentine headed off by Torrens now. At the 200, Torrens draws two lengths in front. Little Mix is coming out of the pack with a good run. And Stockman! My goodness, Stockman from last rounding up Little Mix. Stockman puts the head in front. Stockman and Little Mix, they headed together. He didn't follow through Stockman. Little Mix has made it interesting. Then Torrens and I'm a Dirty Rascal wide out. Serpentine next the rails from Dream Flight. Further back, Parry Sound, Skylab battled. Then Cookaracha, Dark Dream and Andalus. Let's have a close look at this. Stockman and Little Mix bobbing there. There might be just a margin for Stockman. Maybe Stockman on the outside of Little Mix, who was brave and coming again on the line. So three and nine hitting it locked together. Torrens runs third, and I'm a dirty rascal. Number 12 should be fourth. Here's the ground angle. And on the outside, Stockman takes a late dive at number nine, Little Mix. And is there a margin for the outside horse? Often misleading this angle. Leave it to the judge, wait for the number to be confirmed and it's going to be Stockman. Stockman will win via Pimple Gator back onto a rain-affected track and back in the winner's list. Yeah, I think uh, some punters earlier in the week were thinking a wetter track would help, but it didn't matter. Safe for one run this time, and he just was a shade too strong. You'd have to be impressed with Little Mix, the way she's measured up this prep. She's gone from strength to strength, so a bit to take out of the race. Stockman breaks a drought of 412 days and pays 1370 and 360, giving Reese Jones the Christmas cap along with Joe Pride. Runner-up pays 220, 320 for third, 12 runs, fourth, one race to come. 